Can I get a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, please? Yeah, for sure. And then can I get the cold foam on the top? What's the, what's the cold foam on the top? Yes. Yeah. Actually, can you make that a venti? A venti. And that is it. Perfect. I'll see you up here. All right. Thank you. All right, what's up, everybody? It's a beautiful Sunday evening around 7.22. Hopefully that CHP doesn't see me with the camera, and he did. But he was probably just checking out the rig. Anyways, um, it's a sun Sunday evening, 7.22. Um, it's a beautiful day. Hopefully everybody had a good 4th of July. Um, I know I did. Anyways, the whole point of this video, I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I had a subscriber somebody that was interested in how I transitioned from my Gen 2 Raptor to my Gen 3 Raptor and how that process worked. So I'll give you guys a detailed video or kind of how it went down. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I had a 2020 Gen 2 Raptor that I bought used from North County Ford here in Vista. Uh, it had 20,000 miles on it. Um, it was a great truck did me justice uh it was in a lot of the videos prior to this video um it was a staple of the channel for a minute it was a raptor it was off-road truck it was a daily it was a work truck it was whatever i had that day needed to be truck anyways with that being said i paid seventy four thousand dollars seventy four oh shit i paid i think seventy four thousand or seventy three thousand dollars for that truck used um, this was with the whole COVID thing and everything was just kind of up higher. I had that truck for about two years, I believe almost three years. Uh, I put 75,000 miles on it in those two to three years, got rid of it at 95,000 miles, traded it in. I was rolling over negative equity from that truck uh, on to this truck, but the amount of money I put down on this Gen 3 Raptor uh, this is a 2023 Gen 3 Raptor in code metallic orange or code orange. Uh, I already forgot the color. But this truck, MSRP, I believe, was $85,000. I ended up paying <clears throat> after warranties and taxes and all that cool stuff that California charges you. I uh, ended up paying $92,000 for the truck. Um, or uh, sorry, 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 ninety-four thousand dollars for the truck. Uh, I believe warranties were like six grand. After said and done, the warranties I did get were the extended mileage warranty, which it ends up being around a hundred and eighty thousand mile warranty, bumper to bumper. I, I just think it might be the engine. Not too sure, but that's what I bought. And then I also got the maintenance warranty for oil changes, brakes, filters, everything except tires. Um, so that's cool. Got that. Walked out the door, traded in that Gen 2 Raptor. I think they gave me, I owed 50 or $52,000. They gave me 45 or f I think it was 45 or $47,000 for it. Um, I mean, we beat the shit out of that truck. We drove it in the desert. We used it for work. I think I already had two to three sets of tires for that damn thing. Um, and tires aren't cheap. I went through the Be of Good Riches it came with. I went through the Nitto Ridge Grapplers that I bought for the second set. And then I was almost done with the third set I put on the truck where another Be of Good Rich. Um, I think Be of Good Rich are just perfect for the truck. Um, it's just an awesome truck, um, awesome tire, just the whole setup. Anyways, went through that traded it in left the rims tires lights and all that stuff on it i had a sound system in it i had an alpine audio in the back with a alpine audio re uh, regulator and then i had two alpine 10 inch subs on the left and right back seat with the box um so it, it was it was bumping uh and then also i put an exhaust on it it was a custom as close as you can get to straight pipe is what was on it which was dope um, I have some videos on here previously of what it sounded like. Hopefully I can throw a clip in there with that, which would be right now. Um, and then also I had the squadron package at the bottom where the fog lights go. I had uh, two white, amber in the middle, and then I had the amber LP4s up top, which was, or the hood lights, sorry, the A-mounts, the A-pillar lights, which was dope. 
Um, and then I had the Eibach coiled two inch in the front on the coils to lift it up so it was level. I had the 352 methods on it for the rims and then the BF Goodrich 35s. And then it was a negative offset, I believe, to be negative five or negative 10, where it only came out maybe like two inches from the fender. Uh, and that's about it. That's the only thing that was done to that track. Done. Or the money I put into it, I guess you could say. Um, so after trading that in, none. now let's just get this straight. None of the upgrades you do to the truck add value to the truck. No means necessary will add value. Some people say oh, it does. In my personal opinion, I don't think it has any value because it's your it's your build. Now everybody not might want that build. Maybe the dealership will charge extra for that build once you trade it in. But the dealership's not going to pay extra for what you've done to the truck. So if my best opinion to you as a owner that has a truck that like that or a car or whatever you have Jeep and you put those add-ons, take them off before. You trade the truck in, um, keep everything stocked that you took off. So when you trade it back in, you could just throw it right back on there. So then you could either sell all the upgrades that you did, or if you're buying the same exact truck, just throw them on to the new truck. I recommend just sell it and put brand new stuff on the new truck. Makes it a lot easier, makes it more simple and that kind of sense so that you don't have to really go through all of that hassle. Just get it all done one whack, boom, take it to wherever you had it installed or if you did it before you plan on training it in. Or if you're training in, just tell me, hey, I'm gonna put this back bone stock. Here's the picture of the truck when it was bone stock so they kind of have an idea because you don't want to lie um, and do that. That's what I would recommend. In my case, I wasn't gonna take anything off because I didn't really add too much to it besides the lights. Um, I just made a deal where, with Encinitas Ford where if they were able to take anything, all the stuff off of it, and I would buy this truck uh, that same day. Um, so, you know, they're a man of their words. And also, we did their Encinitas Ford's roof. So for all those who don't know, my pops owns a roofing company called A1 Budget Roofing, hence the name Drew the Roofer. So, yeah, that's why we did that. Um, anyway, so they held through their, their end of the bargain, and so did we. I ended up buying the truck, um, 94000 after everything. Uh, they want to ask for, like, if you want to paint protection um, or, like, a coating. Uh, don't fall for that. I, I, Me, personally, I just think just have a detailer guy do it for you. It's a lot cheaper that way. Instead of, instead of paint, I think it was, like, 800 bucks or 1200 bucks. however much they want to charge you for it. it it's dumb. Um, but we'll go over here, park over here, so I can show you what was what is done to the truck. I'll pull in right here. Boom. So this is everything that is done to the truck. So let's get to it. So check it out, everybody. Um, we're at Discount Tire parking lot. I don't get paid for this, but this is where all the homies work. So great pricing, Discount Tire. It's in Vista right by the Home Depot. So if you ever need tires, here you go. Anyways, so let's get to it. Um, this is not how the truck came. Um, I will throw a picture of how the truck came when I bought it right now. But for starters, let's just get into it. We'll start with the first things I did to the truck and then as add-ons came along. Um, so for starters, we didn't do any of this. Um, we did the eyebox coils in the front, the two inch eyebox in the front. I know you can get collars for that. I didn't want to go that, go that route. I'd rather just do the coils. So then it looks even like that. And then we also did the squadron package behind the grill and you can tell it's amber four white in the middle and then amber on the side you can change the lenses i just wanted at least two amber on it so if there's any fog or dust they can see me from behind or front or however you want to look at it next thing we did is we added the lp4 white now you can get a cover for these i just chose to get the white I think the amber was like a week or two weeks out. They had these on site, so I decided to pull the trigger on white. Um, would I have gone amber? Yeah, the ones I took off my other truck, I gave to my brother for a side-by-side. -side. And the lights I had in the fog area, I also gave to my brother for a side-by-side. -side. So that's kind of where those went, and I'm stuck with these rigid ones at the bottom. I don't really use them. They don't really serve no justice, but it is what it is. Also, we put a tint, limo tint, on the windows all around even to the back right here. The only thing we didn't do, I don't think I've seen many people do that, is we didn't do the panoramic sunroof tint on the top, which 
I kind of never do. That's the first time I've ever had the panoramic sunroof on the top. So, you know, cool stuff, but just never had it. It's kind of more of like a luxury for me. Anyways, and then the next thing we did is we put the 35, or sorry, the 352 or 375 uh, method race wheels on there, 17s. Um, I just like it because it's matte black. And it looks like you have beadlocks, but you don't. I never, I don't really hit it that hard to where I need beadlocks. If I want beadlocks, I will buy them in the future. And then we just put these 37 inch tires. They're 12 and a half. So as you can kind of tell, they peak out barely. I mean, they're almost even with this, but it peaks out maybe like, I think they said like an inch or inch and a half of how it peaks out. So that's pretty cool. I do want to take these decals off of it and you see the bird shit but i want to take these decals off leave that on um as you know raptors come with this black badging in the back some don't some do i like it i mean i would prefer it was just all orange but it is what it is this decal will come off here's the tires as everybody knows fox suspension in the back right there dope um this is the orange color it kind of looks red but it's orange it's sick i like it Comes with the keyless entry as well. Um, they also come with the running boards where they go up, but I didn't choose that because when you're off-roading and the rocks fly off the tires, it hits this rather than the paint. And I know sometimes I already have chips on these handles. Um, and I know I saw a chip the other day on the door or the back door. I just can't find it anymore. Um, but yeah. And as for these lights, um, these LP4s, SDHQ, they got all the brackets you need for these. Now, these don't come with these. You have to buy them separate. So whatever model truck you have, <clears throat> just look it up before you buy it. Um, so, yeah, that's what's kind of going on with the truck. Those are all the upgrades to it. Um, it sounds like a beast, this truck. I love it. And, yeah, so let's get to it and keep, keep this video going. Take a quick walk around. Sorry, I'm in my chunkless. Feet are a little fucked up from the chemo, so. Or sorry, side effects of the chemo no longer on chemo. And what's cool when you get close to the truck, these lights turn on. Like the, these ones right here, these turn on, which is dope. I like it. Oh, and then when you lock it, mirrors fold, which is cool. I, I'm not used to all this stuff, so to me, this is like, this is rad. Oh, I'm close, it didn't turn on. But if we get open the front door so if to open the front door which is dope you just put your hand around it boom and it opens because it's a keyless it's just a fob so that's dope okay has ford performance here as you get in it comes with these rubber mats as you tell they're dirty um, what's dope is it comes with the american flag on both sides right here that's sick. Bang and awesome radio sound system. Um, comes with the leather, heated cooling seats. This right here goes, makes that flat, and this goes straight like that for a work area. That's sick. Your auxiliary switches up there, of course. Um, actually, let's turn it on. So each auxiliary kind of goes for each light over there. Um, I know auxiliary switch number one goes for the fog lights down below, which is that one. And so this is your auxiliary one, and then this is your fog right there. And then for me, auxiliary number two, which is right there, turns on the lights behind the grill, and it turns on just the whites behind the grill which is auxiliary switch number two, which is the four in the middle. And then auxiliary number three, when I turn it on, turns on the ambers. So this is what it looks like. If you see me behind you, this is what you're gonna see in the desert. Um, and then that's without the LP4s on. So that's pretty dope. And then Auxiliary number four, which is cool. Looks like it doesn't do much at all. You don't really see nothing, but 
it turns on the amber light in the back because these are daily drive combo LP4s. So even though they're white as a light and the back it's amber, so it turns that on. So at night, you'll see this here, yellow lights, and then you'll see the amber on the LP4s, which is pretty sick. And then we'll turn five on. and it turns on the LP4s right here, and that's bright as can be. So all five auxiliary switches are hooked up, so this is what you would see. It's pretty dope, I like it. Now let's turn these off before we blind somebody. And it's cool, you can just I always thought that was cool. So that is the kind of add-ons I've done to the truck. Oh shoot, I might hit the curb, nope. As for the pricing of that, I'll kind of cover that um, later on in the video. So if you wanna know how much everything kind of costs, um, just stick around for a few more minutes or a couple more minutes, and I'll go ahead and dive into that right away for you. Um, so we'll go back to the original topic of the video, which is how much I paid for the truck. So previously in the video, the truck was 94,000 off all the warranties and all the, uh, taxes licensing and all those fees um so with that being said now how much did i put down now you got to remember it's ninety four thousand. dollars well, i think it was 94 so still got 94 you also remember there was five thousand dollars negative so it ended up being ninety nine thousand dollars for everything out the door i put down forty thousand dollars um so that it brought it out to 54 how much $54,000, I believe, after the negative. Right? Does that make sense? Or was a negative high? Oh, shit. Or was a negative higher? I got to look, but um, no, I got that wrong. So the negative was like $11,000. I completely messed that up. So the negative was $11,000 from the 20 Raptor because I only put $6,000 down when I originally bought it. And since I put so many miles on it, that it wasn't worth as what we thought it was gonna be when I traded it in. So when I put down the $40,000, I believe it was 115 that was financed in the 40. So 15 of that go off the 40 is 25, I believe. Yeah, 25. So I ended up financing $72,000 after all said and done. Um, my payments are, I think, $1,500 for this truck and I intend to refinance it. Um, I know I had to wait, I think six months or seven months to do a refi. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and that's the, what the guy said from Ford. He goes, don't, he goes, you can make the payments and stuff like that, but he goes, refinance it, get a better deal. Damn, they're building everything around here. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refinance it. I'm gonna drop that payment big time for sure because I mean, 1500 bucks is really not that much, you know, for what I do for a living. Um, it's still a healthy amount. I don't expect anybody to pay that. Um, I know some people do, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, so that's what I pay. 1500 bucks a month. $40,000 down. With all of that being said, how much was everything after I put all the other add-ons on out of pocket? Um, I don't finance anything else besides the truck. The only thing I do finance in my life is vehicles because I can use it as a write-off for the company. Um, so the LP4s with the brackets, the squadrons behind the grill, the eyebot coils, rims and tires, the tent. Um, what else? What else? What else? And I believe those are the only seven things I added to the truck. Um, at, the, at the end of the day, I think I paid... Oh, shoot. I paid $2,500 for just the 37-inch tires because that was the last thing I got. Um, $2,500, and I did the tires, the warranty for the tires. And what is included in that warranty for the tires is rotations, a free flat um, alignment. Oh, sorry, not the alignment. The alignment I paid for as well. Um, so tire rotations and a free flat. I bring whatever I want, and then rotating and balancing the tires is free. So 2,500 for that. And then as well, I think I paid 4,900 for LP4s, SDHQ brackets, 
the lights in the behind the grill and all four rims for the truck on the first kind of phase I did. Um, I know the LP4s are 1400 with the brackets. Um, the ones in the front, I think, I believe were 1200. Uh, and then the rims were 352 or 375 each. And then of course labor and all that stuff that they have to do to install it on the truck. So it came out to like 4,700 or 4,900 for that first go around. So in total, I think I put into the truck so we'll say five for the first phase, 25, 75 for the second phase. So it was 7,500. And then the 10, I think was like 300 bucks. So 7,800. And then I think I also did an alignment as well. So about $8,000 I put into the truck with lights, rims and tires and tint, um, which is kind of, I guess, normal. I mean, you could do all that stuff yourself and save a couple thousand bucks, but in my opinion, you got it, pay for it, get it done. You know, it's gonna get done the right way. They give you a warranty for it. Um, Baja Designs gives you a lifetime warranty for your lights. Um, so, you know, and then I went to four wheel parts to get everything installed, which I think was probably the best decision I made. I know some people say, oh, you could have other people do it or people do it on the side. Nah, I'd rather just have them do it, the professionals at it. They got it done quick. They let me know, very communica commun communicative with me as a consumer. I called them, set me up. They called me, hey, this came in, hey, this didn't come in. Um, there was an incident where FedEx shipped the rim and it was bent. And he literally straight up told me, hey, one rim is bent. I don't feel comfortable putting it on your truck. I'd rather wait to get the other rim. Um, we're gonna go pick it up or see if they can expedite it and just cover it. And I was like, hey, you know what, do what you gotta do. He had the rim there the next day, which was crazy. Um, had the room there the next day. Uh, he called me and said, hey, we can get you in the day after. I'm like, hey, set it up. Let's get her done. Um, so when I picked up the truck, I already had the lights on it. I didn't have the rims on it yet. So the next two days, they put the rims on, got the truck. It looked it looked freaking sick. That was done to it. Cool. Um, and then, you know, I think, what, three months later, a couple few months later, after driving the truck for quite some time, I seen a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, but a lot of Raptor owners putting 37s on their truck. So, you know, I guess you say I followed the bandwagon. So I had to pull the trigger on some 37s, got the Nittos. Um, it was probably one of the best decisions I've made, to be quite honest. I love the 37s. Now, the thing I don't like, check it out. 12.9 miles per gallon. My full tank barely gets to 400 miles. I have 11,500 miles. On this thing, um, so I do put not too many miles, quite a bit of miles on it. Um, I love it. I love driving it all the time. This is my daily, my work truck. I try to leave it at the house when I can, um, but I'm gonna try to consistently make videos for you guys about the truck with this truck and kind of my day-to-day -day type thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can drop more videos soon. Um, if you guys want to see videos like the person that commented on it, uh, feel free to throw a comment of what you guys would like to see. If you want a breakdown of the truck, a review, or all that stuff, just shoot me a comment. And who knows, I'll make a video about it if you really want to see it. Or if you want to see other trucks or something like that, um, shoot a comment. Send me a message on my IG, which is Graptor. It's G-R-R-A-P-T-O-R-R. -R on IG, I'll throw it here in the video so you can, if you guys wanna go check it out. Um, I just post Raptor content, which is just my truck. It was my gray truck and now my orange one. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the comments, likes, and all that cool stuff. Um, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Um, and once we hit a thousand subscribers, as you know, I promise you guys in a video, I would get a pouch, a hammer, a knife, a tape measure, ELO, or a, a chalk line um a magnet hammer a regular hammer for all the fellow construction blue collar men that follow this channel um we'll do a giveaway so that you guys can kind of win something from the channel kind of my support to you guys um and then we'll also give something away that kind of involves truck whether lights brackets or you know guys just shoot me some comments of what you think we should give away for the construction side of the channel and for the truck side of the channel or if you guys like fishing i can get something like a fishing pole um 
a rod, a reel, a bag, go to Bass Pro Shop, get something. You know, try to give something away for each kind of video or subject I kind of cover in this channel. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys, and I want to thank you that. Thank you very, very much. So with that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, hope you guys had a blessed 4th of July, um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Um, hopefully, I can get another video out. It's kind of... It's not difficult, but, you know, trying to make videos and new content and stuff like that for you guys. Um, I really like thinking. I don't like putting out stuff that's just not just random. I like putting out stuff that I enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy as well. And, again, this channel is for you guys. The content is for you guys. So hopefully I can give you guys the most quality content that I can. With that being said, peace out, guys. See you on the next one. Deuces.